Whew. I had a chilly one today. Our first negative double digit temperature of the year and of the season. <laughs> so I remembered I have my power gloves today. Heated gloves, I should say. I made a huge difference. So I went to <laughs> it just kind of disappeared from my brain. <sighs> Ideal supply. And <clears throat> I got the estimate. And I'm glad I did. Price has gone up only $20, though. I don't know if that's per battery or total. So I got a new estimate. And he gave me... Uh, business card with his name and the wing on phone number on it so I got contact for here and now I just have to call head office and get a fax number for ODSP to send information to and I'm going to get a contact number and person's name for that so we know exactly who we're dealing with all the way through the line and hopefully get things working properly this time so from there I went to Timmy's, uh, I got my coffee, I was going to get my breakfast wraps because they're on the list this week for discounts and I found out that for sure the hash browns are now overcooked, they're crispy so I can never order them again. She says that's the way they're now made so looks like I gotta contact Tim Hortons and complain and I said why why change a good thing? Everybody could eat them now. Only people that don't like crunchy can eat them. Or do like crunchy can eat them. Not everybody likes crunchy. That's why I get the wraps. Because they're not crunchy. The hash browns, to me, hash browns are not supposed to be rocks. No. Their potatoes are not supposed to be rock hard. But that's the way they're doing it. So, And the problem... Problem being with me being up in the mornings now is I can't get my chicken wraps because they're not they're not available until afternoon and they do have other breakfast wraps but they're not on the list of discounted items so I won't be buying anything so they're losing my money <laughs> uh, so I went that way and then I went that way and coming back, I still had lots of charge left. A lot more than I had yesterday. The monster's behaving today. It's driving faster. So I decided to take a chance and go hit the squiggly trail. Uh, partway through, my low battery warning started. So I just kind of aborted and skipped the last segment. I went down the dam. And I decided to actually go sit in the, in the river. <laughs> Brr, that would be cold. Sit at the river, closer to it. And I discovered there's a lot of ice in there. So more than half of it's frozen over completely. And the rest of it's got ice coverage, but it's flowing. So indication of how cold it is. <laughs> but I didn't get too cold. Like I say, I had my hands were warm. So I was pretty good that way. I forgot I realized just before I came out that I forgot to put my neck protector on but you know I already had my coat on and I didn't want to you know, take it off again and so I just tied up the the hood strap just kind of pulled it up against my neck just keep cold air from going down there oh yeah I forgot about that when I first went out I stopped and I got the phone number off the sign at the sewing place so I can it says call for an appointment or call to make an appointment or something. So I'm going to give that a call and find out what she'll charge to put a new zipper on my coat here. So it could be all zipped up and nice and toasty warm. Well, as warm as I can be. <laughs> my toes are actually a little bit cold, but... I guess that's it. Um... I did notice today more than more than usual the monsters are making a lot of noise. There's a lot of things that are rattling. I can hear the rear fender rattling again. I already knew that needs to be taken care of, but I almost wonder if I got a bolt coming loose or something.
If I lose it, no big deal. I got lots of those bolts. They're replacement bolts anyways. And they're just kind of the standard bolt that I use for everything. So they just happen to fit perfectly. And the threads are the same. <laughs> so, if I lose one of those, not a big deal. I got that work to do. It'll be nice to actually start doing some work on it again. I just hope once I start, <laughs> this cold doesn't keep up. But, you know, it's that time of the year when and it's probably going to happen. So, I guess that's all I got. So I gotta go in and make me some phone calls. Now that I got some information to start with, I can continue on and hopefully get this process going. So, I looked at the temperature. It said snow starts at, I think it was 1045. I think it said. So I'll just kind of throw that up there again. I think it said snow starts at 1045. So I did look at the radar. There's snow squalls, really light snow squalls south of us. So I don't know if that means they're going to be drifting northward. I don't think they're going to get any worse because there's, there's no weather statement, weather advisory. There's no snow squall watch or anything like that. We're not really supposed to get a lot. So... I'm guessing it's just gonna drift northward. Cause it's really light. There's like really super light flurries out there right now. Nothing to even call snowing. <laughs> so, anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.